Okay. Can we open it now? Yeah, of course we can. Okay. You're good on mapping. Oh, wow. So this is a whole oh, alarm system. Sensor. Oh, wow. That's an amazing gadget to receive, actually, so that's going to really give you some peace of mind at oh, night. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big time. You've got... That's amazing. Look at that. ...a camera for indoors. That's nice looking, isn't it? On your phone, we'll be able to see through the cameras. Motion detector. So this is the door sensor, I think. Sit and attach on your door like that, the magnetic. Let's have a look inside here. That's your hub. Oh, and that's the alarm. I'm quite sad, but I just really like the look of that. <laughs> Looking forward to getting all this set up and on our house, keeping us and secure. So you had a ring security system. Something that you guys definitely mentioned was the fact that you were home quite a lot on your own. So you must have been pleased with this. Oh, yeah, over the moon completely. Because when he's on nights, I just... I never felt safe, really, in the new house especially. Yeah, it's always funny when you move somewhere new. You, you do sort of take a while to settle in, so this hopefully would give you that peace of mind. Now, the reason why we gave you this particular kit is, firstly, it's app-controlled, so not only do you have access it yourself from your phone, Ella, but also, Neil, when you're actually at work and you're doing working a night shift, you can check everything's OK. I felt much more confident. You've just got that peace of mind? Yeah, definitely. Now, the setup comes in different sizes to suit different sizes of homes, and we chose the medium size setup for yours. Yeah, so we've got um, a couple of door sensors. I think it came with two motion sensors, and also we was, received a camera, an interior camera too. Well, we left it with you guys for a week to test, so let's see how you got on. So we've unboxed, and we're going to have a look at the instructions, and the first thing to do is uh, download the Ring app. Right, so we've installed the app, it was very easy, and it's asking me to uh, install the first Ring device, so... We better get started. We decided to do it in the kitchen, because obviously to the front, everyone else can see it, you've got street bikes, but to the back, it's a bit more hidden. I'm going to attempt to pair the camera with the app. The instructions tells me to scan the QR code on the back of the um, camera, like that. Typed in my Wi Fi password. I've spent about an hour now uh, installing the Ring Alarm system. Uh, that's taken me an hour to do two motion detectors. Easily sticks to the wall with the sticky pads. Two contact sensors. I found it quite difficult to fit these neatly on PVC doors, but you can actually remove the magnet from the holder and it enables it to get a little bit closer to the sensor there. The keypad and the base station. To be fair, when I first started it, it was quite a daunting um, feeling because there's so many little boxes, but actually, it was really easy. We're going to test it out now with my little old bar, Stanley. You're going to run in the kitchen and pull a funny face at the camera for me. Yeah. Now. Off you go. Oops, I've just got a notification pop up straight away there. There we go. Look at that, straight away, instantly. It's a good, funny face, Stan. Well done. Take off that here. So I'm going to test out a motion sensor now, see if that actually picks me up. So I'm going to set the alarm. One. Wouldn't want to say my alarm, uh, code out loud there. Exit delay started. I've set it to away so it thinks I'm out of the house. So it's counting down now. The chirps get louder and quicker. 30 seconds remaining. Before it gets to the end of the uh, minute, so you know how long you've got left. Away and armed. So I'm going to walk into the living room now. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, OK, so that fits fairly. I wasn't expecting that. Actually, maybe jump. It's very loud. Yeah, so as soon as it saw me, Alarm went off. We're about to go out for the afternoon now. Delay started. So that's one minute to leave the house. Let's get going. Come on, Right, we're out on our walk. We're just going to check in on the app to make sure no alarm's gone off and see what we can see. So the app says it's away in arms still. It's all secure. If I wanted to, I can go straight to the kitchen and go live. There's my kitchen right now. So um, we're feeling protected and it's doing a good job so far. We've left the house and realised we haven't set the alarm. Um, Neil has told me something that's blown my mind. Apparently, you forget to set the alarm 
you can do it on the app. If I just press away on here, that's the alarm set. It's good that, isn't it? How that reassuring is well. that? The app has come in amazing so far because my memory isn't the best. The amount of times I've left the house and been sitting at work and gone, <laughs> Just put the alarm on. <laughs> oh, amazing. So that ability to control it remotely is really, really helpful for you guys. This is the setup that you had. You didn't experience any real difficulties um, attaching anything, putting anything up and connecting it? No, I was a bit daunted at first by the amount of pieces and boxes, but actually it was so simple to install, and I'm not even joking, it is literally pull out a plastic tab and it talks to your phone straight away, it pairs straight away. And that's all you're doing. It's you nice stick when it... tech does that, you're just like, yes, it's actually just worked. You, <laughs> it's stick just it, worked. you stick it to the wall when it's working. Yeah. <laughs> How did you find having all the bits of tech around your home? Did you find it a bit intrusive or did you find it visually unattractive? Um, no, not at all, no. no. I barely noticed them. One thing we was worried about, well, me specifically, was the cats. Because where we've got the room sensors, I thought the cats, as soon as they come in, I sit and the alarm be going off and I'll be upstairs petrified coming down with my bat. <laughs> 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 but thankfully, I think you said there was some kind of option in the app or something. I think it can detect pets and differentiate between pets and humans. It doesn't go off either way with the cats, so... That's good to know. If you have pets, it won't set off the room alarms. Now, the setup you have, the medium-sized setup, is £239.99. But there are varying subscription packages that you can latch onto that. The £3.49 a month package will allow you up to 180 days access to all your videos or storage for all your videos. Then £8 a month gives you that plus cellular backup for your hub in case your Wi-Fi goes down and it will also call your emergency contacts should the alarm go off. Does that offer value for money in your opinion? 100%. Yeah, I think so. It's really good. OK. The big question at the end of all of that is will you buy it? Yeah. I think we will, yeah. Yes. Definitely. It's another win. Excellent. I'm really pleased that that has offered so much for, for both of you.